St. John Newman Church, Knoxville, Tennessee. This church we ha uh, has a perp sighting of Anthony J. O'Connell. We're going to go inside and film that so you can see that indeed there is a picture of O'Connell still on the wall at this church. We asked these people, oh, probably in 2003, if they would consider taking this down to be sensitive to victims and sensitive to children, and of course the answer is no endorsed by Bishop Joseph Kurtz. So I'm going to turn the camera off now and proceed inside with a second filming. I'm not sure they're going to let me do this if I see anyone, so I'm going to preface it with if we get inside and get back to that area, we'll do it. If not, we'll come back another day. This area, of course, is accessible to teens and others, children, everyone. There he is, the perp, Anthony J. O'Connell. Now, please notice the plaque on the photo. We have often said, if you're going to do this for history, then correct history and tell us the truth that this is a man who admitted molesting teenage boys. Now I'm going to walk out of the church to show you how you can easily access this hallway. Okay, we're outside again. I'm kind of the cameraman and the videographer, whatever, but um, if you do not think that it is appropriate to still have the picture of a pedophile, admitted pedophile, on a church building, perhaps you should let this diocese know. This is St. John Newman Church, Knoxville, Tennessee. And the pastor, John Dowling, goes along with Bishop Joseph Kurtz in thinking that this is just a fine thing to do to have the um, pedophile Anthony J. O'Connell still on this building. <laughs> 